Good morning, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for a trading session 7th September 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. So you download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, in terms of European markets, then basically this morning we have uh, Asian session just about going into the positive uh, Asian markets all night. The Shanghai up 0.35%. Okay, the Nikkei still certainly is lower as well. Uh, trade concerns certainly remain, but uh, the uh, the hour passes and Trump does nothing. So that certainly is interpreted as being positive. Okay, given the fact that he didn't exert that 200 additional 200 billion uh, in terms of tariffs and the Chinese markets. Okay, uh, this morning we've had uh, in terms of uh, trade balance exports down in Germany, uh, imports certainly higher. So that certainly should bode well for the rest of the eurozone. So bear that in mind, and global economies as well. Current account. A deficit actually lower okay came in, expected at 20 came in at 15 okay so industrial production certainly weaker as well we're waiting for the french data to hit the market shortly okay let's see how the market reacts there uh, u.s market certainly bounced off the low so certainly uh, bouncing quite impressively there and certainly a bullish bias from that perspective okay uh, in terms of u.s equities okay in terms of european markets now they certainly need to play catch up on the upside let's certainly looking for a potential short squeeze in european equities Okay, so that's basically where we're, the that's basically the status quo, and that's where we stand in terms of European indices. Now, again, like I said, we're making developments on Canada, we're making developments on China as well, and given the fact that that additional tariff certainly wasn't obviously imposed, uh, again, that certainly is a, a bullish perspective, obviously catalyst from my perspective. Uh, emerging market concerns certainly are in the background. Let's see if the markets can certainly bounce off that. In terms of the technical picture, let's see exactly what's happening here. Now, the German DAX breaking through that all important uh, 12,000 level. I Was it really important? It was more of a psychological uh, level, uh, media friendly. <laughs> okay, uh, from my perspective, the German DAX has closed the gap at 11,960. Now, from this perspective, certainly looking for a potential a bounce, okay, on the uh, daily chart. 60 minute chart, yes, we're still remaining in lower lows, lower highs uh, obviously uh, trend and therefore bias obviously from that perspective is certainly bearish but given the fact that the daily chart certainly takes precedent precedent larger time frames always take precedent certainly looking for a potential short squeeze there okay so especially given the fact that u.s equities certainly are in the bullish mood at present okay and you've got to got potential and fill gap to be filled at about 12 to 10. so watch out above any potential rally will face resistance at 12 20 first and then obviously looking at 12 70 and 12090 uh, in terms of the french cac again it's at a critical juncture on the daily chart as you can see here horizontal support okay so certainly looking for a potential bounce here on the daily chart just based on that alone 10 minute chart yes we are certainly uh, uh, in a bearish trend but certainly looking for the uh, daily chart certainly to take precedence and looking for a potential short squeeze with the gap fill above at 5340 looking to potentially be closed in terms of the FTSE 100 daily chart now, we are now coming into critical, critical support here on the daily chart. The FTSE, uh, that key support there has gone around that 7360 zone. We're now into that key previous resistance equal support of 7310. Okay, so certainly looking for a potential bounce on the FTSE now. Looking for a short squeeze here as well. So watch out in terms of the FTSE 102. Okay, so into key support on the daily chart. And the daily chart alone, given the fact that the German DAX is into support, CAC is into support, one would expect a short squeeze there. So watch out in terms of that. Okay, 60-minute uh, chart, you've got previous support equals resistance. Really, that's only the real uh, zone to watch for now. Uh, again, you've got previous support equals resistance around the 7360 zone as well. Okay, so that's basically where we stand. Okay, so I think that's a good summation, really, of European indices. Again, Euro stocks as well on the daily chart. If I bring that up, I'll give you an insight there as well. You're into that key support zone around this 3306, 3295. Further support seen at 3280. So certainly looking for a pop, looking for a short squeeze in European indices. On that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com. So if you take advantage of the bonus, and be sure to visit trade signal signals, market updates from leading providers. Goodbye.